Welcome back to the Aquarium Network. Designing, installing, and maintaining aquariums in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut since 1969. When you hear of saltwater aquariums and ask hobbyists what type of livestock they have, the one fish that you will almost always hear is the yellow tang. They are easy to collect in the wild, easy to keep, and their vibrant yellow coloring makes the yellow tang a great candidate for fish keepers of all skill levels. The natural habitat of the yellow tang is spread throughout the Pacific Ocean from Japan to Hawaii, and has also been reported off the coast of Florida in the western central Atlantic. Most of the yellow tangs caught for the aquarium trade come from Hawaii. In Hawaiian, these fish are called Lao i Pala, which translates to yellow leaf. In the wild, they are able to grow to almost 8 inches, but the average size for the aquarium trade is 3 to 4 inches. The yellow tang is a pelagic spawner, which means they release free-floating gametes, sperm and eggs, into the water to be taken away by the current. In captivity they are very difficult to breed, and trying to do so is usually an exercise in futility. These tangs are usually peaceful community fish, but can become very aggressive towards each other and other surgeon fish in the aquarium. If you are going to keep more than one in the same tank, it is best to introduce them simultaneously, or to introduce the smaller fish first. Always make sure the aquarium is large enough and has enough hiding places for multiple surgeon fish to call home. They will become territorial and defensive of their spot once they are fully acclimated. Yellow tangs are great for reef enthusiasts because they are completely reef safe and will pick off nuisance algae on the rocks. They are able to handle some of the more brightly lit aquariums and will generally swim around in the open water and sleep in rock crevices at night. Water movement is key with these fish as they like a lot of oxygen and love to have water rushing over their gills from time to time. While mainly herbivores, yellow tangs in an aquarium can be fed a wide variety of foods. In the wild they pick on filamentous algae all day and will do much better if given a seaweed strip tied to a rock or clipped to the glass at least three times per week. You can find dried seaweed made for sushi wraps at most Asian markets. It's usually the same quality as the stuff sold in pet stores for a lot less money. Beautiful and hardy, the yellow tang is fun to watch and easy to care for usually living five to ten years in the aquarium. It's easy to see why so many people love keeping yellow tangs. Please visit our blog to find out more about the yellow tang and other beautiful fish for your aquarium.